Hello folks, Bronco Bob here with American Motorcycle Trading Company in Arlington, Texas. And I'm here today to show you a 2003 Honda. It's a VT1100. It's water-cooled. This bike was just traded into our dealership. And I bet the guy's name was Big Rich because it says Big Rich right there on the gas tank. This 2003, we're selling it as is. We're putting it in our scratch and dent section. And it really doesn't have any scratches and dents. It does have a place here on the fender that maybe it's got a few little dimples in it. It's got an excellent back tire. It's got Vance and Heinz pipes. The sissy bar looks like maybe it was homemade. It does have a hole right here in the sissy bar pad. The seat, however, is a Mustang seat and it's in excellent shape. The fuel tank is in good shape. There's no dents. It could stand a good wax job. It's got 33,855 miles on the clock. It's already got one bug on the windshield. That's no extra charge. But it runs good. It sounds good. I checked the oil. The oil is relatively clean. But we're selling it as is. We're not changing the oil. We're not going to wash it. Basically, this is a bike we'd normally sell to a wholesaler or take to the auction. But we're going to offer it at a low price to the public, give you a chance to get a bargain. If you don't mind doing a little cleanup yourself, you're going to get an 1100cc bike with Vance and Heinz pipes, fresh set of rubber, put a little wax job on it, and you got something you can be proud of. And that Mustang seat alone is about $300. I'm going to start it up and let you hear it. She does sound good. I rode it over here and it rides really good. And of course I'll show you all the faults that I see on the bike. The pipes are actually pretty loud. You like them loud. They said loud pipes save lives flaws on the bike it's got a custom foot peg and it's missing one of the rubber ends you can see we haven't washed the bike it's been ridden in the rain got a little road film on it if your name is rich and you're big you'll probably like the big rich on the gas tank if not you may want to paint it paint it black but the grips and hand controls are in really good shape there's your choke lever the saddlebags are aftermarket bags and it's got supports but they don't really fit right. It's like the, maybe this part right here is too, too long. Maybe the, that needs to be tightened up to pull the bags up where they're closer to the seat. But that's something the new owner can do. Or you can take the bags off. I mentioned the sissy bar doesn't look like a Honda Lion sissy bar. It looks like somebody watched American Chopper, got the welder out and built it. But walking around the bike, I don't see any oil leaks. I don't see any issues. The brakes work good. They're smooth. There's no pulsing. Uh, and like I say, the tires are excellent. I mean, it's a pretty darn good bike for the money. It just doesn't quite meet our standards with the year and the miles, and that's why we're selling it in our scratch and dent section. You could even pull the sissy bar off, and I mean, look how rough that pad is, and look how nice this Mustang seat is. Just take that off and give it to your buddy. But I thank you for looking. I thank you for your time. This is Bronco Bob. And again, we're selling it as is. We're not going to wash it. It has a bug on the windshield. And when you pick it up, it'll have a bug on the windshield. Now, if you decide you want it cleaned up or you want the oil changed, we can do those services. It's just a little bit extra charge. Or you can save the money and do it yourself. But thanks for looking. Thanks for your time. This is Bronco Bob with another great scratch and dent motorcycle from American Motorcycle Trading Company in Arlington, Texas.